Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the first ghostly take of the season, or Lehigh Valley Phantom season preview that are going to be led by the two young netminders, Felix Sandstrom, who looked very good last season at the end of the season, and Samuel Urson, who comes over from Sweden and looked very good in that league, helping his team to the playoffs last year and obviously helping his team to avoid relegation the year prior. So it's going to be exciting to watch those two. In other news, Kirill Ustamenko was uh, set down to the Reading Royals, according to Matthew Knob, as well as Charlie Gerard. They were loaned to the Royals. I think that's really smart for Kirill the thrill because he is going to get a chance to actually play and get momentum and actually be able to build some consistency and be able to build some confidence in himself as well by being able to play down below where if he was with the Phantoms he would have just been the extra goalie really to Ursan, who's really seems to be emerging as probably the Flyers other than Ivan Fedotov who's still over in Russia top goaltender prospect behind Carter Hart who ain't a prospect anymore so he would be ranked I would say in my eyes their top goaltender guy and then you have Felix Sandstrom who already just looks like a very good goaltender guy or that's a big guy in net that can slide well and look to seem to be getting back into his groove after coming back last season particularly at the end of last season when he really helped the Phantoms in a couple of those wins there even according to coach Scott Gordon so I think that's a good move to put Kirill down so he gets the most playing time and I think it's going to be very exciting to watch Sam Yorison and Felix Sandstrom this season in Lehigh Valley it's also going to be really exciting to watch Sami Tomala who demolished in the preseason three goals in four game and then Morgan Frost just as he should demolish the AHL and Isaac Ratcliffe had a fantastic start to the police season in order for Ratcliffe to be a good bottom sixer in the NHL one day all he has to do is stay healthy and keep and then start producing again to the levels we know he can produce at the AHL level he's a fun player to watch when I was covering the Phantom last year for the great Flyers Nitty Gritty Yari Brolock and Jamie Baskell appreciate you all for letting me do that and obviously hope to do a few games again this year but he was very fun to watch and he's a very tenacious player a guy that's not afraid of anything when he's at his full effect so I'm excited to see him this year Linus Sandin is another guy that obviously is a guy that came from overseas seemed to be adjusting to the game last year had some good moments I'm excited to see what he's able to do in his first full season over here this year and then Wyatt Wiley along with Mason Millman both of those guys played very good last year Millman at a very young age in the AHL so it's going to be exciting now to see more at a, um, I guess the way to put it is, appropriate age to be in the AHL, what he's going to be able to do after already impressing last season. And then, of course, you have when he's down, Max Willman, who's honestly quickly became one of the leaders and one of the energizer bunnies of that team. He's going to get to make his debut with the Flyers tonight. Congratulations to him. But when he's down, he's a huge part of this team and a huge component of this team, as is Wyatt Wiley on defense. And what I love about this team, as we have the Cal O'Reilly's, and I would ask Scott Gordon about it last year, of course, Ian LaPerry is the coach this year, they always seem to have the good veterans mixed with these great youngsters that are developing, like the Hogbergs of the world. And you added that this year. Last year, had Derek Pouillot, who I really liked, and it's kind of a shame that he had to leave and go elsewhere. But this year, you bring in Adam Glendening, who's a good veteran with NHL experience and a very good AHL player that's able to help guide along these AHL defensemen that we hope eventually will see time with our Flyers, particularly the Mason Millman, the Wyatt Wileys of the world, the Linus Herbergs, and others that he's going to be able to help guide along as a veteran down there in the AHL. And you, of course, brought in Joey Mahieu, who's been around a little bit in the AHL as well. So you brought in some guys that have that experience. It's always good to have guys like that that add into the fold of that and add into the experience of the locker room. I'm a big proponent of that, especially when you have young guys you really want to have develop. And then you have the wild card, and then you obviously have top prospect, obviously before we get into the wild card players to watch. You have top prospect Cam York that you want to watch, along with top prospect Ty Forster that you want to watch, that you had the lethal wrist shot, uses his body really well, and plays consistently. But an interesting guy to watch, I think, is going to be Logan Day. Didn't have a good preseason, but skates well. Um, played well last year and just looked like one of those just keeps the game simple doesn't overcomplicate any things that can play really well in the AHL level being a defensive guy that doesn't overcomplicate things maybe that will progress as he ages in his mid-20s to kind of being a guy that can be a bottom pairing defenseman in the NHL but we'll have to see because Max Willman was able to work hard 
and get that contract, of course, offered. Maybe Logan Day will be the next guy that's able to really have a good season this year and get that contract offered. And then also Ryan McKinnon, another guy or here that's been around in the AHL for a couple years, and that's a good guy to bring in as well to add to the depth of this team and to be able to have a couple people that are actually not really, really, really young on this team as he is in his, um, he played for the Bridgeport Sound Tigers for three seasons before, so he's in his fourth season now heading into the AHL, so you have a couple guys that have been around, especially actual veteran veterans in the Cal O'Reilly's and Glendennings on the forward court and the defense court, and then you have guys like him who have been around for a few years that are going to be able to still help these young guys that have only been around for one or two to integrate them and bring them into the fold. So I really like this Phantoms team. I obviously think the main components of the team are Cam York, are Max Willman when he's down, are the Ty Forcers of the world, are also the Morgan Frost of the world while he's down, and are going to be Sami Tumala. And of course, Zaid Wisdom, whenever he's able to come back, is going to be very exciting and fun to watch, as well as Samuel Morin, whenever he's able to come back, is going to be very exciting and fun to watch. So I think just like last year, it's going to be a fun season, and it's going to be a season that we're actually going to be able to compete for the Calder and have a playoffs this year and have a regular season led by two great young goaltenders and a good young core with this Phantoms team, with the good veterans of the O'Reillys and the Glendennings that this team always has to offer. Plus, Sandine that came over from overseas has different perspectives on things, and it's always great to have any perspective you can coming from a man's league over there into the AHL to have you as you can in the locker room. And I always love about how the AHL Phantoms find a way to have the veterans, have all the great perspectives in the locker room, and that's what helps you to be successful as well as having the talent. So again, I think it's going to be a successful season for the fans this year. It's going to be a fun season to watch the boys again as it kicks off tomorrow. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this Lehigh Valley Phantoms season preview of the first edition of the Ghostly Take of this season. Please subscribe down below or up above if you enjoy the content. Stay safe out there, everybody. Peace out, and enjoy the AHL season.